Hello Dirt Track fan, Lee Craft here. I'm the Monday Morning Racer and I'm on location at Lime Rock Speedway in Caledonia, New York. That's behind me and they just wrapped up all of the features for the night and those features that you're about to see include a 35 lap feature for 600 wingless of the micro sprints and also the winged variety in this on location filming by Monday Morning Racer. Some great racing action on the dirt here at Lime Rock, or as they affectionately know it, The Rock in western New York. So enjoy what's next on Monday Morning Racer. And until next time, God bless and keep the pedal to the metal. Hey, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you can find Monday Morning Racer on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and right here on YouTube. Take care.
on the front row.
Mustang racer here in the pits after the race, caught up with Christian Bruno. Now he's the one that won the 600 wingless feature. Bruno, look, real quickly, talk to me about your night. Good night, started off hot laps. I didn't, get, didn't really get hot laps. It's kind of like a track back deal. Started third in the heat race, got the win in that, which put us in a good position for the redraw. Unfortunately, it was seven, which put us kind of back in the future. Was lucky to get up, up to the front around third. Kind of got caught, some cautions going to really move forward, and got a good green flag run. The car came in, was able to take the lead. Just never looked back. Took the lead, never looked back. So you went from seventh to the lead in a, what, 20, 22 car field. A lot of attrition through the night, long race, and you said the track was rough. Talk to me particularly about the track. One and two was really tricky to hit. I, I don't know, tires and the tires kept moving out, so it was like you couldn't hit your marks one and two, so it was kind of like a, kind of like a change-up, I guess, in uh, baseball. But. All right. So, Christian, you're 15 years old, just one day being 15. This is your second year in these sprints. Talk to me, why micro sprints? What do you love about them? The power to rate ratio, just coming off the turn, if you can get that thing, to, all the power to go down, it, you can feel it. Good racing, too. There's a lot of good car count, especially back in PA. You had 50 cars, 40 cars every weekend, and a lot of good drivers. It's kind of grassroots, I guess you call it. Awesome. So PA there, folks, he's referring obviously to Pennsylvania. The micro sprints are big here in New York, Pennsylvania, other parts of the country. So Christian, look, where do you hope in the sprint car world you get to being 15? Or is there any possibility in your future dreams that uh, you go into some other form of motorsports? I like to run more outlaws, but that's probably a little far from now. The main thing is Chili Bowl and the Midget. That would be pretty cool. And probably get a driller and maybe micros in. Awesome. So, dreams of the Chili Bow in Knoxville. Very good. Very good. All right. So, before we end this interview out, tell us who's helping you being out here tonight and winning wingless 600 features. Mike and Brooke Fauci, my mom and dad. Um, trying to save lives. Pioneer Pool Buildings, Donate Life, Race Choice, MFDD, which is Brooke and Mike Fauci's, and Dylan's RV, and especially Blue Socks. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I can notice here you can follow Christian Bruno, Christian Bruno Racing on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Make sure to follow this young man. He might be going somewhere and you see him on a much bigger racing field. Bruno, thank you, man. Thank you.
Racer, I caught up with another 600 wingless and winged driver, Nick Fossey. He's kind of the local big dog out here at Lime Rock Speedway, The Rock. Now, Nick, talk to me about the wingless event first. You were leading, you were doing well. You just told me off camera a little bit of frustration because you finished third. Good night. But I know, as we can see all those stickers on that car, you're used to winning. So talk to me about that feature. Uh, we were good from the beginning. Fast car, everyone was fast. It was a very tight bunch. Not many cars were falling off track for to come lap cars, actually. It was a good race. Um, ended up, I don't know if we roasted our tires or cooked them or the track kind of got slicker than we were expecting. Some big poles and big ruts. So just a few factors played in. I know at one point in my car got a little loose, pushed up. And someone got underneath me. I'm not sure. I don't remember if that was exactly when I got pushed back to third or not. Awesome. So you won in the winged feature. Talk to me about the difference between wingless, winged, and how those features worked out. There's similarities. There's differences. Obviously, you won. That's a better condition than third. But hone in on those differences between these two animals. The big differences. This car has the wheels off, front wheels off the ground a lot more than this one because obviously there's a front wing and a top wing pushing it down. When the wheels do come off the ground, it's just as sketchy. But uh, this one's definitely a lot harder to steer and it's a lot more t uh, towing on your arms. The ruts got bigger towards the end of this race and they got even bigger for this race because there's a uh, class in between. And, and this, in the uh, wings, it actually ended up helping us. It helped us get, when the car pushed up, we, I was able to hit off a run just right at that point. Off of luck, there's no skill involved there, I'm going to admit that. And we shot it underneath and that's when we got took first and took the rest of the way. Awesome, so I know, talking to another driver, the winner of the uh, wingless feature, the track was rough. And you were saying that apparently it got rougher over the night. Has that been a common occurrence this year at Lime Rock, that it's been rough, or is that just kind of a one-off thing? It's pretty much a one-off thing. I know that the, a lot of the repercussion that we got last night, or the, this night, I'm sorry, last week it rained really hard and we ended up having to scrape some of the dirt off. I'm part of the track working here too, so I'm kind of involved with everything. We ended up having to scrape a lot of the clay off, so and when we re -adhere, tried re-adhering it this week, we, didn't, we totally forgot to till it didn't stick and it peeled up causing some of the holes. Awesome. Nick, man, look, thank you for your time. Tell us who's helping you being out here and finishing third and winning. Um, I got to thank my dad, my mom, my crew chief, JR, who's around here somewhere. He probably walked by in the shot at some point. He's a big guy. My brother, uh, sister-in-law, everyone that came out tonight, I got to thank L.B. Bonson Insurance, Cedar Creek Lawn Care, Hyper Racing, Bull Motors, uh, Dave Orange Racing Engines, and obviously you. All right, Nick Fossey the third place finisher in the wingless 600 and the feature winner of the wing 600 and the top dog here at the front seat. Thank you.
Thank you.